Hey YouTubers, Christopher Wanamaker here doing an updated vehicle preparedness and readiness ideas advice video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this one and I've made a lot of improvements, a lot of uh, uh, changes uh, uh, to the vehicle, what products I have, um, all that kind of stuff. And so everything I'm going to go over is you know the improvements I made to my vehicle, the things I've added uh, for emergency preparedness uh, management, uh, and also just for comfortability and uh, upgrades uh, uh, inside outside my car. It used to be um, the exterior of my car used to be surf blue, which is kind of like a you know light sky blue, and now it is um, dark pine tree. Uh, green with aqua green pinstriping and I also got uh, got rid of the fabric upholstery and uh, did uh, 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 leather upholstery as well uh, so did all that made a lot of upgrades uh, um, and this is not just for emergency preparedness for vehicles I'm also going to be covering certain things for rideshare drivers uh, I was a Lyft driver for uh, two and a half years mostly for in the Colorado Springs, Denver area, last couple months here in the Pacific Northwest. And then unfortunately I got a uh, false uh, report from a woman uh, to you know hopefully get her money back. Uh, she filed a false claim and it got me canned from that job. Uh, I did uh, 5,710 uh, fares for Lyft for two and a half years and I was a solid five star driver. Uh, once they canned me, about a month later, I became an Uber driver for the Pacific Northwest, mostly Vancouver, Washington, Portland, Oregon, and surrounding areas. And I did about um, uh, 1,300 fares in two and a half years with them. So in total, I did like 70, 100 fares. And I stopped being an Uber uh, rideshare driver after that uh, at the end of this last January of 2023. Um, about uh, four or five weeks after I completed my 10 semesters of college and got my bachelor's degree in business accounting. Uh, so now I am mostly uh, just an at-home caregiver for my disabled mother at home. Uh, that's what I'm mostly doing. I'm uh, thinking about uh, starting to do plasma donation here soon to uh, make a little extra money. And then coming this fall, my plans are to um, look at either... Um, uh, do an additional extra level up uh, caregiving training so I can uh, take on one or two additional clients at their houses, at their homes, or uh, possibly work for the uh, uh, VA um, at one of their clinics uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, Vancouver, Portland, whatever, uh, and that's a federal job, or uh, maybe even look into um, uh, working as a park ranger, become a park ranger for one of the different recreational parks that we have here in the Northwest. So that is pretty much what I am planning on doing. Uh, no more uh, uh, rideshare Uber driving, but a lot of the stuff that I've made modifications to and all that for my vehicle, not only for emergency preparedness, uh, but it was also um, you know for uh, constant upgrades. Uh, to improve upon my, um, um, you know, driving for Uber, Lyft, and on top of that, I was pretty smart because not only did I, uh, on my smartphone, uh, have a Mile IQ app to track all my mileage, and then swipe left was, um, I think, uh, um, a personal swipe right was business, uh, or kind of vice versa. I can't remember. Um, so I tracked all my mileage and then, you know, at the end of the year, um, you know, pull up the whole year's worth of what was business and submit it to my uh, 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 tax accountant and tax write-off uh, for gas mileage. So there was that. Um, and then I would also keep all my gas receipts, car wash receipts, receipts for all the gum I provided, crystal light powder packets, water bottles. Um, for all the um, you know chargers, uh, you know for either myself or I got a charger in the back of the seat here that I'll show when I uh, grab the phone and go in the back. Uh, for my customers, um, you know umbrella, uh, safety stuff, uh, and then also all the receipts for the maintenance services or improvements like uh, leather upholstery, rims, getting new rims, uh, maintenance services, uh, oil changes, all of that. Um, you know, I kept all the receipts for all uh, food stuff, car wash stuff, gas stuff, improvements uh, that improved upon my vehicle, even the vehicle wrapping I got, 
I put that all on uh, for tax write-offs, keeping all the receipts and all that kind of stuff because, you know, I did all this stuff while I was a rideshare driver and, you know, I kept, you know, it's for the business uh, and I'm bettering things and getting, you know, all these um, extra accessories, not only for myself, but for my customers while I was driving. So uh, during, you know, rideshare driving time frame, that really benefited me uh, by getting tax write-offs for all that kind of stuff. So other than that, uh, let's get into, you know, what do I have in my vehicle? Mostly let's start in the whole front seat and the glove compartment and all that. Um, so you see that I have a, you know, a leather uh, pistol holster that I got with my Bursa Thunder 380. It's kind of like a Walter PPK pistol. And pretty much, you know, when I was a rideshare driver, I do have a concealed weapons permit. And um, uh, normally, you know, uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, when it's, you know, fall, winter, and all that, it's usually pretty cold. And in fact, even this summer, uh, June, mid-June of uh, 2023, it's actually been uh, quite cool. So normally, I wouldn't just be wearing short sleeve shirt and all that. Uh, I would be wearing my heavy leather coat. And then I would have pockets and everything, inner pockets, outer pockets, and all that. So um, if I was rideshare driving, as also as long as I have my wallet with me, my, with my concealed weapons permit, then what I would be doing was I would be, you know, uh, wearing this underneath. And pretty much the only way that you would know that I have uh, a pistol, a weapon, is if I have to pull it out and, you know, either threaten uh, you with it or... Um, uh, uh, use it, you know, so otherwise I would keep it to myself and you would never know. So uh, this, uh, you know, uh, pistol holster I really like, got it from Afghanistan, handmade leather, uh, it, you know, so one eight round mag in my pistol, uh, two other eight round mags right here, and then on each um, uh, shoulder right here, an additional uh, 10 rounds. So pretty much just uh, for what is on this jacket pistol holster, this 44 rounds, and then inside I have another uh, little belt um, uh, uh, you know, clip on to put another um, uh, pistol uh, clip in there for an additional eight rounds, so there's 52. Uh, so a good amount of firearm stuff, and I have other um, uh, uh, like self-defense uh, weapons, some lethal, some non-lethal around my steering wheel driver seat area. Uh, so let's get into that. So if I had my coat on me, my heavy leather coat, um, or, 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 you know, and all that, and it was winter time, that I would have a couple extra things in my pockets. What those extra things are, are right here. Uh, first off, I would have uh, a gator neck. It's like a stretchy um, um, military uh, scarf. So I put this on like that, put it down, pull it down, and that can also be like a, um, a face mask kind of thing uh, um, and all that. So gator neck it's a military scarf is you know but it's called a gator neck so there's that one second let me pull it back up have that in my coat one of my pockets I would have a fleece cap you know keep my head warm and then I would have high quality um, and uh, you know, uh, deer skin with Sherpa material on the inside uh, and what uh, brand these are, these are the best kind of winter gloves I have ever had in my life. And pretty much uh, they're known, uh, the brand is Churchill, which is based out of Jehalis, Washington. Uh, I was kind of surprised to uh, find that out. My first pair I bought in a uh, Cowboy Indians and Cowboy and Sons uh, store or whatever, a Wild Wild West kind of um, store. Uh, in Steamboat Springs in the Rocky Mountains uh, ski resort area of Colorado, not far from uh, Strawberry Hot Springs. And I found these and I um, tried them on because it's Colorado, heavy winter storms and all that. And pretty much um, one time we went out to a military fire range for like 12, 14 hours. There was a foot of snow on the ground. Uh, we even uh, did a, a nighttime fire on the military range uh, shooting 50 cal. Uh, machine guns and stuff, you know, for qualification and uh, uh, 240 saws and, and all that kind of stuff. And anyway, it was like, it was cold. I mean, as it got darker, got colder, it was, you know, negative 5, negative 10 degrees. It was freaking freezing. Put these gloves on, hands never got cold. Now, they're deer skin, 
uh, these specific ones are called Maverick. Now, if you just get Maverick uh, of that type, then it's just the exterior leather, no Sherpa on the inside. If you want the uh, Sherpa um, uh, stuff on the inside, it's uh, Maverick-C is the specific brand and what size and they're um, originally I've been I've purchased uh, them a couple times and they're right around $90 gloves they fluctuate a little bit but with inflation I wouldn't doubt if they are over a hundred dollars now um, and I have one pair in my um, leather uh, jacket and I have a brand new pair still haven't even been worn still in the plastic uh, a part of my 72 hour survival bug out bag in the back trunk area of my vehicle so uh, definitely something that I would have on hand and that also comes very useful with say, you know, I get in a car accident, I'm, you know, I drive off a cliff, I'm, my car's down there, no one can find me for a long while. I have this heavy duty uh, from JCPenney leather jackets, really warm. Uh, and then I've got all this, you know, extra things to keep, you know, different parts of my body extra warm protect my face, protect my um, extremities, all that kind of stuff. So, a uh, good thing to have. Uh, one of my favorite types of gloves. I, I was very shocked to find out they're made in Chehalis, Washington. So, uh, you know, then uh, you got my, you know, holster here in my uh, door uh, frame area where the handle is. I also have a knife. So, uh, and then I can, you know, if someone's trying to mess with me. So that's to my left. Also, in the bottom portion of my door, uh, there's a little pocket here, and I um, have this little, um, I bought it from like Ace Hardware, 13, 14 bucks. It's like a little uh, mini baseball bat billy club with a lanyard, uh, but it's also a flashlight uh, as well, different settings like strobe and to confuse them and everything. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, then uh, to the... Um, right, right where in between my um, right knee and the joystick, I actually uh, got a little creative and I bought one of these Raptor hook knife and the sheath. I put Velcro, um, uh, sticky Velcro, and attached it uh, to the um, in between. It's like to the hard center dash on on the left hand side, in between the joystick, left of the joystick, and my right knee. And it's solid black. It blends in with the whole dash. Um, and so, you know, if anybody like here is in, in the passenger uh, seat and someone's trying to fuck with me or whatever, you know, uh, with a single little, you know, uh, um, a grip, you know, with my right hand, you know, you know, I got them. You know, I could threaten them or take them out if I need to. So uh, there's that. Um, then I definitely have a USB plug in with it. Uh, I got the, and this, you know, it pulls out and extends. Uh, and it's um, the um, a USB charger with all three different types of uh, plugins um, uh, for my phone with uh, the go um, in tandem with my phone mount here attached to the little air vent. So I got micro, I got C, and I got the iPhone charger right there. Uh, then I also have uh, both on my part of my keychain stuff. I have a, uh, a final straw to help with uh, dealing with uh, pollution and everything. Uh, you know, as long as I remember it, to grab it and everything, bring it with me and it's clean, then uh, instead of using normal plastic straws, I can, um, you know, pull this out. You just got a little cleaning brush with it. And, um, and then I already have my own straw uh, that folds up and everything. So, um, let's see. All right, so there's that. I also got this on here. I got, bought it from Amazon, and pretty much what it is is both a seatbelt cutter and a window breaker. So uh, that could be very useful to help get yourself out of a bad situation. Um, and then I also have um, here on the dash, I've got this little keychain flashlight. Uh, I actually had one on my keys, but it fell off in my pocket, but I've got another one, and what it is is both a little mini flashlight, but also you push that button thing forward, and it is a 100 kilowatt taser, uh, so that can help with self-defense as well. Um, I've got a little, two different things of these uh, 
little sunglass cloth things to clean any of my sunglasses, uh, which of course I you know always have a pair here in the car, so ready to go. So clean all you know uh, clean cloth things to uh, clean uh, my sunglasses. I also have a thing of uh, daytime driving glasses as well. These uh, allow me when I do drive at night and I'm tired road trip or for the ride share driving or whatever, it makes all the dark areas a little gold dimmer uh, and makes all the, uh, everybody's headlights or uh, street lamps, city lights, whatever, uh, a little uh, um, like gold dimmer. So dark areas, it brightens up a little and uh, you know, uh, actual lights um, you know, hitting you makes a little gold dimmer helps uh, for you to be able to see better. So there's all that. Let's see what else is around my thing. Um, I once upon a time before had the Verizon Hum, H-U-M system and it had a, like a Bluetooth um, uh, like all-star speaker right here on my sun visors. Uh, the 2.0 version uh, for 5G went away with the speaker and so all it is now it is a chip that is uh, attached underneath you know the dash of my car which is not only a self-diagnostic uh, for the electronics and the engine um, maintenance uh, services chip. So like when you take your vehicle in and you turn it in, they do, they hook up your, you know, newer computerized vehicle to a computer and it does, you know, diagnostics, does it read anything with any problems with the engine, the chips or whatever. Um, this thing does pretty much the same thing. It has an, it's a, connected to an app on my phone. And so anytime a, a rough start, battery issues, anything like that, if it detects an issue, it will send me um, a, a different uh, warning, you know, email, text messages, things. Uh, but what else it does, it is also a GPS tracker. So it, um, as long as it's hooked up um, under the dash, it's, uh, and I pull it up on my phone app and, they, and nobody um, disconnects it, bumps into it, unhooks it or whatever then um, I can track in real time uh, my car. So it's like one of those Apple uh, GPS um, locator things. I have think, been thinking about getting a second one uh, of something like that and then hiding it somewhere else in my car so I have a backup. Uh, so other than that, other uh, self-defense as well. Uh, I have this. This is a, a pepper ball shooter. It's a tube thing with a little air compressor with a pepper ball in it. I've got replacement stuff. It's got a safety lock right around the button, so you turn it and then you're ready to shoot it at uh, somebody. It can shoot up to 30 feet and then it'll like uh, um, shatter and, uh, um, and you know it's kind of like a paintball but filled with uh, um, uh, uh, like pepper spray, a powdered pepper spray, and then it'll go uh, create a cloud and everything. Um, so I have that as well. Um, I've got you know some pens and stuff as well if I need something to write with um, up here. I've got, um, you know, uh, Orbit gum, two different packs, uh, two different fruity packs of Trident gum, and two different packs of um, uh, cinnamon um, Trident as well. Why Orbit and Trident? Because it's one of the um, uh, best, uh, the two different uh, gums that have a specific ingredient in it for um, uh, to, that's healthy for your teeth. Uh, dentists highly recommend uh, you know either of these types of gums and they last a long time too they um, aren't like some other gums that after a couple of hours um, they you know start to um, degrade and disintegrate in your mouth and give you a bad taste so there's that so and then uh, I also have a bunch of my business cards right there with my full name on it and then uh, even bigger on the back and why I had this is, um, you know, uh, you know, to promote my YouTube channel. Currently, right now, 27 videos covering 16 different category subjects: uh, vehicle preparedness, vehicle basic maintenance care services video, hints, tips, and tricks, and that stuff. Um, financial literacy videos, um, um, building high quality, lightweight 24-hour bug out bag, normal 24-hour bag, and then up to 72-hour survival bug out bag, like my personal bug out bag that's in the back that I'll show off and get to, uh, showing it that I you know keep it here in my vehicle. Um, you know, utility bill life hack videos, uh, Pacific Northwest tour guide advice video, um, you know, relationship uh, uh, improvement advice video 
how to be a better gift giver to the people most important and closest to you using the five love languages. So you're not, um, if you know, you know, uh, your friend or oh, family member, significant others, top two out of five, and you know what your top two out of five is, then you, you're not taking your, um, you know, top uh, love languages and pushing it onto somebody else. Uh, you are, you know, uh, reading and knowing your significant other or friend or family members you know, top two love languages, and you use that to your advantage to um, get a gift and speak to them through their love language, and that also prevents a lot of fights and like, you know, what were you thinking? This is a garbage gift. You know, uh, why did you give me, I'm a guy, why did you get me a girly item or a kid item? Why the hell would you, you know, think that I uh, would want this or like this or, or you even use it? So it prevents those kinds of fights. So I do a variety of different categories, and uh, I'm thinking about, you know, uh, I'm currently updating a lot of those category videos right now, and I might even come up with one or two new ones. So I have these uh, business cards. I hand them out to people, you know, tell them, hey, my uh, full name is my YouTube channel. It's a picture of me in my military army dress suit uniform with all the award ribbons on the outside of my blazer on my chest. And... Um, and then I also, you know, if anybody, you know, wanted to become an Uber driver, I had a Uber referral number on here. Uh, or if they you just needed a ride, you know, at some point uh, to or from an airport, they want their own personal driver, uh, you know, and whether it's going through the Uber system when I was an Uber driver or they're just hitting me up because they really like my car, my attitude, my behavior. Uh, and they would like me, you know, if I'm not busy, to be like their personal, like almost like limo driver, private driver. So um, that's why I would have a bunch of these business cards. And uh, during the last year, I was an Uber um, driver. I got over 100 YouTube subscribers by having these business cards and handing them out. So uh, there's that. I got an AM, FM, um, you know, uh, receiver transmitter that I plug into the cigarette lighter. I've got another device that uh, plugs in a cigarette lighter with a USB exterior and that uh, either plug in my, uh, there's a NATO magnetic uh, uh, mount right here uh, and then my 32 gigabyte uh, touch screen Zune. They actually don't make these anymore for like probably over a decade. Um, it's so it's a, a Microsoft iPod. Uh, I have broken the screen once. I sent it into Microsoft. They repaired it and put in a new battery and stuff and got, gave me a new cable. Uh, so I still have the Zune software on one of my 10-year-old uh, laptops, so it still connects. I you know download um, uh, music and stuff. I can put TV shows and certain you know, formatted movies and TV show episodes and then all my music. I, I just added a lot of new music to here, like uh, the... Uh, um, a newer uh, rapper from Southern California, Gremlin. He's like the more positive version of Eminem. I love uh, his music. And so I have a little, um, you know, metal adhesive mount thing that I put on back of here and it magnetizes right here. That's connected, uh, uh, plugged in, and uh, this AM FM transmitter, which I also have a secondary back one in my house if this one ever goes down. So it's ready to go. Uh, plug it in and then tune it into a certain radio station and um, everything on my iPod I can play and listen through the speakers of my uh, vehicle. Uh, I also have, you know, um, uh, I forget the name brand of this thing. It starts with a V. I know that. Um, it was an $80, you know, uh, um, 360 uh, front and back um, with a large, like, 360-ish um, micro SD chip. It can probably record non-stop for about 100 hours worth right about and then it'll start recording over itself uh, unless i push a button and it will save like the last five minutes if a certain thing happened um i got this because for two main reasons i, I bought one from kickstarter a long time called called vizo v-e-z-o a unique 360 degree um, um dash cam but the problem was is that I still haven't gotten it. I ordered that thing in 2018 for like 185 bucks, and I think I've been getting newsletters uh, from the Kickstarter program. They're just about to send it out. So since I already bought one for 80 bucks, works just fine. When I receive that, I'll probably be putting it up on my offer up um, account to try to sell it for you know 150 or something like that. So there uh, is all that, but I got it because of two reasons. You know, uh, I was canned from Lyft because um, at the end of January of 2020, 
I got picked up a, a female from a hospital, Portland Hospital, and sorry, I'm in a parking lot, so you know, cars pass by and stuff. But yeah, I picked up a, um, a female from a hospital, took her to her home somewhere in Tigard, um, and pretty much uh, uh, she, you know, she acted really weird and all that. I even, uh, as soon as I got off and was come home, before going to bed, I emailed uh, Lyft customer service, let them know about that really weird f affair. She was acting funny, saying very odd things that made me question things, and I'm like, this doesn't sound right. Sounds like one of those scams that I've been hearing on other YouTube rideshare driver videos, people pulling scams in or uh, making false reports, false claims um, to you know get their money back, and us drivers get punished or deactivated or whatever. And I did. I didn't have a dash cam at that time to be able to prove my innocence on top of that. There's been several times uh, here in the Pacific Northwest where I've seen people make like major illegal churns or U-churns or whatever, uh, being in far left lane and uh, crossing the other two lanes to get to an exit, things like that. And so I've almost like ran into people and all that. So to be able to protect myself from... Um, uh, anybody who's doing wrong uh, did the wrong thing, but it's trying to blame me and they're like, where's your proof? I got dash cam proof as soon as something happens uh, I can push a button uh, um, And it will save the last five minutes So uh, we know who was actually at fault and who's not lying through their freaking teeth So I also have stickers in the other three uh, windows just not on mine uh, that says um, it's a red and white um, and black with black lettering it says notice for security this vehicle is equipped with audio and video recording devices consent given by entering vehicle so there's no question of hey where was your signage uh, uh, that you know says that you know uh, you have permission to record other people in your vehicle when they enter your vehicle whoever the hell they are uh, it's you know all the stickers are right there uh, for them to be able to see in the bottom left hand corner of um, uh, each window except for mine because why do I need it you know I'm in the driver's seat so there's that um, and then uh, I also have you know here on my seat I got some upgrades as well um, and I have these headrest things right here so I got one on each side and pretty much so if I'm tired or whatever, one thing I can do is pull over and I you know, have these devices or kick uh, back the seat a little bit. And then uh, I have these where um, I can you know, keep my head in place and use them. So it's like a donut pillow um, to you know, uh, take a little bit of a comfortable nap. Uh, and I got one for my passenger side uh, seat as well. So my passenger, um, my, my co-pilot you know, can uh, use them as well. Uh, what else do I have? You know, over in the bottom on the floor here, in the, uh, uh, from the seat, I have, you know, a snow brush thing. You know, put that back. As I talk about things, I'll try to put them back. I also got a, um, uh, ice, uh, windshield scraper as well. So, there's those. Uh, let's see. Um, normally when I have my heavy winter, uh, leather coat on me, I will actually have not my just a, uh, my normal wallet. I'll have a secondary. Now, why do I do that? Uh, I have been stuck up with uh, weapons before, and so after the first time, it's happened several times. Uh, for my share, you know, it was almost always empty threats. I'm I didn't you know was crying and crap. Um, I, I'm not really afraid of death, uh, but to deter uh, anything, what I do is I have my primary wallet usually in the inner coat pocket um, of my coat and then either with in that same area or somewhere else on like an exterior pocket um, on the uh, outside of the coat uh, a button button pocket or whatever uh, I would have a secondary wallet that was my old wallet it's a leather wallet and then it has like an old driver's license and then it has like um, uh, prepaid debit cards and rewards cards. I wanted to make it look uh, as authentic as humanly possible. It has $5 cash and it has several um, uh, um, uh, money orders uh, that, you know, and then I could be like, oh, you know, there, uh, um, I have like several money orders that uh, friends and family members have sent me or whatever, haven't had time to go to the bank and everything uh, they're all filled out you know there's thousands of dollars right here you know uh, you can have it as long as you just take it and leave 
and, you know, and then deeply in there's a little piece of paper that says, I hope you enjoy the leather wallet and the $5. Uh, this is a decoy wallet. That's all you're getting. Everything else is useless. Um, uh, have a nice day and thanks for being a douchebag. So uh, it's a decoy wallet. So I have a better chance of, you know, um, you know okay, here, you, you want my wallet, all right, you know, uh, here it is. And I'm not giving them the real wallet uh, so I don't lose all my, you know, more valuable stuff. So that's one thing that I definitely do. Uh, then uh, let's start going into what do I have in like the glove compartment, uh, um, you know, and, you know, passenger seat, driver's seat. Now under each seat uh, of the front seats, I do have, uh, you know, fire extinguishers. After about a decade, I will, um, you know, uh, get rid of the old ones and, uh, you know, go buy brand new ones from like Walmart or whatever. I don't remember how much these things cost, 20, 30 bucks, something like that but have one of these under each seat ready to go, you know. So not only could I use it for different things of, you know, putting out a fire in the vehicle or you know, can I get to it, uh, you know, and uh, um, douse a vehicle, do I see someone else in distress um, and, you know, help them put out, uh, or during especially summertime, dry season, am I, you know, did I see that a fire is starting out in the field? Uh, I've heard stories on, uh, on the news before of people doing that. You know, um, you know, maybe someone threw a cigarette butt out the window. They saw a fire getting started. They pulled over and either pulled out their own fire extinguisher or pulled out um, water bottles or something, um, towel, blankets, something to, you know, try to uh, put out the fire before it spreads and becomes something bigger. If I, you know, see something like that, then, you know, I have two fire extinguishers ready to go as well. Um, and then hopefully I can put out that fire, you know, so there is that. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so each uh, fire extinguisher is on a, you know, the uh, each of my front seats, um, and then what do I uh, also have normally uh, uh, um, in this little pocket thing in the very back of my driver's seat? I have uh, this. Now you're like, what the hell is that? Um, so I got this from Amazon, and what this is is since more recently I got a more handmade uh, leather stitched. Um, a steering wheel cover uh, that fits my very specific design steering wheel uh, and then it, it wasn't as thick as um, the last steering wheel uh, cover that I uh, had on here so now I'm able to put this back on and now this is a TV tray uh, that I you know have and can hook on to the bottom of um, my steering wheel you know uh, going on road trips and I have fast food uh, put my burger and fries and drink and everything right here so I have my own TV tray in my driver's seat that I can use uh, to eat and um, not make such a big mess on top of the two cup holders that I have in the, here in the center dash so uh, there is that uh, and then uh, what do I keep in um, you know in the glove compartment area so I keep uh, National Park uh, Registry stuff um, uh, also within my wallet recently if you're like a military veteran uh, per year whatever for a certain time frame you can go get a free National Park pass you show that and then you know uh, so America the beautiful National Parks and Federal Recreational Lands pass with uh, one of the kind of like handicap placard things to put on and you won't get a ticket and everything uh, then I would uh, you know also get like you know a little you know newer updated both Washington and probably an Oregon and Idaho uh, at some point uh, from like a rest area if you're able to get it um, you know the uh, like a map uh, you know of those states atlas uh, more updated ones every now and then uh, just in case you know all technology goes to hell we're in an apocalyptic world and everything and you have a more current uh, map of the area would be a uh, very smart thing keep that in the glove compartment of course handicap placard um, you know I am uh, um, according to the VA I am uh, now since last summer it was 10% VA disability um, disability rating 40% is junk uh, and so you know I can use this uh, and um, but of course my mom is has MS is disabled with MS is handicapped so this is the main reason why I have this um, and then we've got, uh, the, this, uh, leather uh, booklet binder thing. Uh, it came from my very first, uh, 2009 black, uh, 09, uh, Hyundai Sonata. 
vehicle traded in for my 2018 Hyundai Kona that I'm sitting in and it has the user manual and everything and then one other thing that it has is you know um, I have all my really important documentation of the vehicle registration and uh, a printed up thing of insurance as well and then I always you know get new registrations once a year and then uh, new printed up things of insurance every six months from my bank and then uh, put them in here so you know uh, it's always good to have on hand and so you don't get a ticket so start putting stuff away as I'm going through them um, this uh, I think you know every vehicle should come uh, with something like this this is a nine in one hand cranking LED rainproof not fully wa waterproof LED flashlight. It's uh, made from Ivation, I-V-A-T-I-O-N, um, 40-ish bucks. It you know, changes the price every now and then. Uh, so it is a hand cranking flashlight. Pretty good flashlight. Uh, it has a, a compass on the bottom, lanyard, seat belt cutter, window breaker with a little rubber cover. Has this version has a built-in radio. Uh, let's see if I can. Yep. The screen is kind of damaged and all that. Uh, but you can get another version that's like eight and one without the radio. So uh, there also is a USB plug-in, so um, you know, pull out my USB, hook it up to my phone, make sure my phone's shut off, and then go ahead and crank. That will recharge your phone. That's a backup thing. Uh, and on top of that, it has magnets on the front, and then there is a, you push a single button just once. There it is. And so it's a warning triangle uh, attached to the outside of your vehicle. You hold down that same button uh, that turns on the warning uh, triangle light. It's an alarm. So, yeah, nine in one hand cranking LED flashlight for right around 40 ish bucks uh, from uh, uh, Amazon. So, um, every vehicle should come with something like this for safety reasons and all that. Uh, then I also have a thing of um, gloves. Um, it's like uh, Cyrus gloves. And what uh, good about these gloves? As a backup, is it has this uh, little uh, rubberish material uh, that is uh, specifically made so you can still use touch screens like my Zune or my smartphone. So there's that. Got a little um, thing, a little device from Amazon for a couple bucks. I got like a two pack, and what this is is it clips onto your air vents and makes it where if you get the little catch-up, you know, packet uh, with the hard plastic and all that, you put that in there, or even ketchup packets because I have gone through restaurants where they didn't give me any ketchup or whatever for my fries or ranch dressing or whatever. I got a lighter in here as well and uh, um, I'll even pour it in the plastic, clean it out afterwards. So I've got you know one in here in the glove compartment and another one in a Ziploc bag with other stuff I'll go over here in a minute in the center console. So uh, very useful for eating and stuff when you're going through plus with a steering wheel TV tray as well. So the, those are good combos. Got this little um, brush with a Hyundai symbol thing from online, and I can brush things down and all that. So just uh, wipe everything off. Uh, chapstick, little thing of chapstick, which also can be used as, um, you know, put like a little rope wick or something, and it, this can become like a very useful, uh, almost like candle. Uh, tire pressure gauge, uh, you know, device. Take your, you know, uh, unscrew the um, tire tube thing lid, and then push this on there, and it'll tell you that'll pop out from the air pressure and tell you what your PSI is uh, for your tire. So uh, there's that. Uh, I got a, you know, other than using this now device, I also have a waterproof um, blow up pillow as well. There's this portion that blows up and then this portion so I can have two different levels. Put it around your neck, kick back, and you know, get some shut eye. Um, it was very useful for when I was rideshare driving 
if I would like say when I was in Colorado Springs, drove someone all the way up to the Denver airport, uh, it was late at night and you know, like, oh, I need you know, a couple, an hour nap, a couple hour nap. I would try to, you know, uh, get on the outskirts of Denver to a, a little rest stop or something, pull over, blow this up, uh, take a nap. And I've also used it to do the same thing when I'm on road trips as well. So there's that. Uh, then I would have, you know, um, a little bit of firework stuff. Uh, you know, it's several years old, so I don't know if they would be good. You're probably going to have some duds. Uh, like heavy-duty uh, firecracker things, uh, which can be used to um, either scare off wild animals, that's one thing, or even if you get it lit, throw it in a corner of a window if you need to blow out the window or something like that. Um, so there's different uses uh, for that, you know, scare away people. Um, if I don't have my firearm, maybe that will scare them away thinking that I do have a firearm. Um, different colored uh, black cat uh, 20 second smoke bombs uh, hopefully they do work you know you know it's different colors purples yellow green orange and a blue um, and then you know you, you can use this for a couple different things it could be like a ninja smoke screen kind of thing uh, help you with your escape um, it could um, scare away uh, some wild animals bobcats coyotes uh, a bear whatever because uh, none of those animals they have strong senses of smell they don't like the smell of smoke. They smell smoke. They usually go the other way. Uh, or emergency signaling. You're in thick forest or whatever. Um, you need help. Like so, the, uh, probably the orange or yellow one. Some uh, one that's bright colors. Um, and then they're uh, they're like you know I see smoke. I see smoke. You know. Uh, so they have an uh, an idea like hey some weird yellow orange colored smoke was in this specific area in the forest or on the mountain or whatever. Um, so, it, you know, it signals, uh, um, you know, for helicopter or whatever, you know, gives uh, someone an idea of your location. So there is that. Let me put that away. Go. Go. That's all put away. Uh, and then everything in the glove compartment is put away. There's this. Uh, this is a water line uh, um, garbage can. I've had it for many, many years. Uh, this, uh, I do have some things in it uh, ready to go. I have some Febreze uh, spray uh, and then a small thing of Lysol wipes as well. Uh, one of those garbage, I stop by the gas station and I, you know, uh, empty out any kind of garbage that I have right there at the garbage cans um, um, at the gas station. So it's always good. I am a very clean, organized person. I'm not a messy person. So, um, you know, uh, I like to keep things, you know, very clean, wiped down and, you know, put garbage in here and then empty it out every single time. But it's, because it's waterline garbage can, there's another good use, uh, use for it. And then I did use it uh, as this which is a barf bag for when I was doing ride chair driving and I picked up somebody that looked green in the face, like I feel sick, uh, you know, you know, a police pull over, you don't know how much time that they have, can they keep it inside? I've had, you know, picked up people even near the very end of my um, Uber ride chair uh, in January of 2023, you know, I picked up a couple and then three minutes, she's like, please pull over, please pull over, I feel like I'm gonna puke. You know, because they went to a you know friend's party and drank too much and all that. So, uh, if you know, instead of having puke all in the inside of my car, and am I am able to, if I'm quick enough, I pull out these two items, throw them in the front passenger seat, unhook uh, you know the, this strap, which I put pretty much in here, hook it up, and then it's hanging off the back center of this console right here, and then they puke in it, and or spit or whatever, dry heave, you know. And it, I've had close calls where, you know, I uh, like, hey, you look green in the face. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not going to puke. I'm not going to puke. I pull this off, like, just in case. And five seconds later or a minute later, they're barfing in this thing. Uh, and then I just have, like, their friend, like, please take it inside. Rinse it with scalding hot water several times. Uh, and then ring it out and bring it back to me, please. And I would wait in their parking lot until they brought it out. If not, I would knock on their door to, like, hey, are you done with it? I need my bag back, you know. So, um, you know, so there's that as well. So, yeah, I would put it back here. And then clip it in. There we 
go. Okay, now, center console. And this should be, I believe, one of the last things uh, that I'm going to go over here for the front, I believe. Yeah, I think that looks like about everything. Um, so, center console. I have a back seat organizer attached to the passenger seat. I have bottles of water, uh, some napkins. I've got an umbrella um, here in the uh, back pocket, you know, so I can uh, with a you know cover. I pull it out if I got a you know it's pouring down rain or something. Someone has groceries, I get them to their door, uh, you know, safe and sound uh, without being drenched. Um, I got a USB plug in with the um, uh, three pull out uh, uh, phone chargers. Um, that I will, it's called um, Super Lit. You'll see it in the back when I um, you know, grab the phone and go to the back seat for a minute. I used to have three additional bottles of the little um, like Aquafina or, or Fiji water or something. Um, and so I would re, you know, pull out three of these out of the center console and restock when someone took a water. I have uh, like seven, six or seven different flavor little crystal light powder packets. Those were super dirt cheap. And napkins and stuff like that if anytime anybody you know uh, grabbed one of the waters but either you know didn't drink it all put it back um, uh, emptied it threw it in the little water line garbage can whatever I would keep the wa uh, the used water bottles I would rinse them out with scalding hot water and then I put scalding hot water in it put it in the fridge and reuse them because I mean this costs money to, to buy these so you know I have a um, Half a dozen more in the uh, little hidden pocket compartment thing in my back trunk that I'll be showing uh, and all that. Now, I don't, right now, I don't keep as many waters in here uh, because I have a Ziploc bag filled with some preparedness items. Uh, I've got a thing, a little compartment of Band-Aids right here. So, if someone needs a Band-Aid, I got that um, you know, catch-up dunker thing, uh, Band-Aids, condoms. Uh, I got a little thing of sunscreen, face mask, uh, mo a bunch of moist towelettes, napkins, um, Tums, Hall's cough drops, uh, some, um, what else? A chapstick, another USB, a double USB uh, plug-in thing to plug into my cigarette lighter, uh, you know, some little candy. Um, and then I recently um, I got the idea, a little Ziploc bag with a little bit, both of uh, the gel pill Allegra, some Tylenol PM, extra strength Tylenol, and leaves. So a couple of um, you know helpful pills for fevers uh, or pain or um, allergy problems, which it is allergy season. It's pretty good today, not having too many issues today. Uh, and then I've got, of course, three or four of the five hour energies, uh, which, you know, is a good pick me up. Um, you know, either I drink half of it or I drink the whole one, especially if I'm on a road trip. I would, uh, I got this from when I was in the military for my, uh, Fort Carson, uh, horizontal engineering unit that went to Liberia, Africa for, um, half my unit was there for three months, including me. The other half of my unit was there for six. And these are medical grade gloves that I got from them because we were there to help out with the Ebola outbreak. So I uh, took a pair of those. I have my um, cloth uh, mask, which I think is one of the reasons why uh, me and my mom never caught COVID because it was a good cloth mask with a carbon filter. I bought, you know, extra packs and about once a month I would replace the carbon filter. Uh, so this I think is one of the big reasons why I never caught it. Um, uh, so I got lucky with that because I was smart and got the proper gear ahead of time. And then other than two or three five-hour energy, uh, I've got a, a comb just in case I have longer hair and I'm like, oh my God, I you know didn't brush my hair and it looks horrible. Take care of that. And I've got four different flavored cliff bars as well in here. So, and which I also every now and then not only eat myself uh, because if I'm running around, I just don't really have time to eat. Um, and or I'm on my road trip, I also hand out uh, some of the waters, uh, crystal light powder packets, and cliff bars to some homeless people that you see on street corners as well to help them out to give them a little something. So, so tons of, you know, preparedness items. Uh, put that back real quick, sir.
Good to go. Okay. All right. Let's um, let me go ahead and get out of the vehicle and then grab the phone. We'll go in the back seat and then we'll do the trunk. And then uh, after the trunk, um, show um, what I have. I got a sports rack, uh, 18 uh, cubic square foot sports rack uh, container that opens up from the back, store extra things. Um, I am thinking about, um, I bought it a couple years ago off Amazon for 350 bucks. Uh, that's currently selling for 400 on Amazon right now. So I'm thinking about putting the one I have up on uh, OfferUp, my offer, offer up profile, and try to sell for right around 300. And then I'm thinking about getting one of the um, 18 cubic square foot um, Thule ones uh, because they, um, with a key, they open up from either the left side or the right side. And it's also more aerodynamic and um, um, it looks more tactical as well. So, um, you know, I think, you know, that's about right around the $800 range. So I'm thinking about buying one of those, replacing the one I have and sell the one I have. But... I do keep certain things up there when I have the lockbox container uh, on the top of the vehicle. Um, but no matter what kind I have, it will affect my gas mileage. I'll lose, you know, like half a dozen uh, miles per gallon with that. Because, uh, you know, hopefully with the Thule one, it'll be better with the aerodynamics. So uh, let me get out of the car. Let me, um, you know, I don't want anybody to freak out. Uh, well, nah, I'll leave this on. And then uh, let's go over some other stuff, all right? All right. All right. Allergies are starting to bug me a little bit. Forgive me if I sneeze. So, backseat organizer, let's show that. So there's my backseat, little organizer, things with pockets, napkins, bottles of water, and then I have the super lit um, device right here. I forget how much, I think it was in the 40-ish dollar range um, for one of these, so, you know, it's uh, micro USB, uh, C, and um, iPhone. So when I plug it in, these green lights will uh, be on, and then you can pull it down uh, and then got to retract. So fire extinguishers. I got all weather um, uh, floor mats recently from the carpeted ones I have. Here's the water line garbage can in the back. And then back here in this little pocket thing right here is where I would keep the uh, TV tray that I got reach for and grab and then when I was a rideshare driver uh, uber lift eventually I got these and they're little you know signs they're double-sided I have two of them one would hang off like this and then for the other seat the other would uh, hang off so it's you know so it's if you need anything uh, feel free to ask uh, warm reminders no smoking um, I would uh, cr I would cross out the vaping I was fine with vaping um, uh, drinking is fine. I'd cross out the no eating. Uh, I mean, sorry. Um, I'd cross out the drinking and leave the no eating. And then no open alcoholic beverages. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a great day. And then this other thing. And they would, you know, hook on here for, with and hang off of the uh, seat. And then the other one was, please let me know if you need anything. If you like my service, please rate. Five stars. Tips are not required, but greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a great day charger available seat belt for safety please take all your belongings before leaving so it hang these off right here um and they were very useful i actually have them on offer up i think they're for the pair is like 15 bucks i'm asking like 10 so um and so yeah there's those don't use them anymore so that's why i have on offer up uh, for sale and then like i said these um you know things Got them on Amazon. I forget the specific name to them, you know, but have one on both seats. Uh, Crystal Light powder packets. I've got like, you know, several flavors, you know, berry, orange, uh, grape, all that. I think like a strawberry lemonade. Yeah. 
So all that, and then uh, umbrella right there as well, and um, pretty comfortable seats. Even got you know little guards for the uh, seat belts. Uh, this used to all be fabric, with a little like gray fabric pattern here, uh, and all that. And now let's uh, go into let's uh, check out the truck. So. And just to get an idea, this will probably be the only dark green with uh, aqua green pinstriping uh, 2018 Hyundai Kona uh, you will ever see. They have a peridot colored one, but uh, you know this is my vehicle wrapping. I might even do a little bit more pinstriping on the pop-out lines uh, with the light green. So... All right, so let's go over what we have here in the trunk. One second. Hold on, give me one second. Got to turn this thing around so it stays. There we go. All right. So what you see here is my personal. I've been building it for 10 years. Very high quality. 72 hour uh, between $6,500 72 hour survival bug out bag. There is this uh, entrenching tool carrying case on the top uh, that I've emptied. It has light entrenching tool, little uh, pin fishing pole right here, uh, and the clax, like 10 in one, I think it is, multi tool uh, tomahawk axe head, the handles on the inside. So this would be uh, like this and go inside here um, normally, but with this lid cover thing, uh, it, you know, um, it's uh, bulging, so that would normally be in there, and then it would be fully ready to go to pull out and grab. So this comes down, see, there's this lid thing, to keep my bug out bag hidden. Uh, so I pull these out and just put them right here for now. Uh, in this pouch on the top is my personal, all my personal hygiene stuff. Uh, first aid is right here in the side, ready to go. Um, then I got a bunch of other stuff, you know, summer winter combo clothing. I got a machete sword here. I got like a machete buoy knife right here. Uh, this is my enlightened equipment, a uh, quilt sleeping bag system, and a Sea to Summit stuff sack I got from REI. A lot of the fire starter stuff is in here. Uh, uh, and then this is my two-in-one CRUA Krua Outdoors hybrid tent, which is a two-in-one. It is a ground tent. Or it could be a hammock tent and all with rain fly. So, uh, and so it weighs about right around 64, 65 pounds, uh, tons of S rings and all that. Um, and so let me put this away so I can pull this whole thing out to uh, show you what I have underneath in the hidden like compartment area where my spare tire and all that is. So now it's empty, it's clean. Uh, in here is a little pocket thing. These are, um, you find them for about 10 bucks a piece at uh, like Walmart and, uh, and Fred Meyer's Automotive Department. LED road flares. Got a couple more in here. Put them in this little pocket corner thing, get them out of the way. A second. And what they are is pretty much um, if this, there's a magnet on the back, there's a hook as well, and pretty much um, if this uh, was like the underbed of the, your front engine hood, magnetize it to the top, you have an LED flashlight or handheld one as well, but then it's an LED road flare, waterproof, crush proof, and you pretty much, one second, you know, uh, Magnetize it to the outside. It's got uh, half a dozen different functions. We're going off. Okay. So there's that. 
then uh, here underneath hidden little pocket compartment I'll be pointing down just a little bit okay so uh, definitely have upgraded things slowly over time I got a Ziploc back a Ziploc bag of uh, socket wrench and sockets I got some cliff bars several additional cliff bars for food I've got a puncture seal can for a tire got some um, little zip ties in, in the Ziploc bag with the sockets I've got this um, mini tools uh, screwdrivers and sockets a little uh, toolbox set I got from online 38 piece ratchet screwdriver set so got that Um, we got some Armorall um, bottle spray, uh, hand sanitizer, little you know pull-out suction cup for pulling out little dents. I got a pair of um, you know real handcuffs with keys. Um, you know Zippo lighter fluid. Um, uh, first aid kit that came with uh, the vehicle. Um, um, a first aid little Red Cross manual little multi-tool uh, that's a, like a hammer and stuff as well um, additional band-aids other little first aid medical gloves uh, moist towelettes um, 30 wipe so, um, gloves medical gloves so a good amount of first aid okay Extra, um, you know, work on thing gloves, get your hands dirty gloves. Um, this is actually a silicone, collapsible silicone um, uh, kettle coffee pot. Uh, and then I have a box up in the um, block box container uh, with the uh, little mini electric chainsaw that I have, which is very useful if you used it recently. Um, then uh, in that box I have this little device that I bought from Amazon that plugs into the like outlet cigarette lighter thing in the car uh, front uh, dashboard and it uh, turns it into a um, uh, American one plug outlet so I can plug this in get some water and then you know make hot water for any of my MREs Mountain House dehydrated food um, hot chocolate packets um, you know, for, for to make hot water for really anything. So, um, extra bottles of water. I got you know uh, additional microfiber towels that are fully clean. Uh, I got these from uh, Amazon. I got a green one and an orange one recently. It is like a uh, two in one. It is an emergency blanket slash rain poncho. And then one is green if you want to blend in with the environment. The other one is orange if you really want to be seen. So, um, right there. So, um, prepared 4X emergency poncho. Dual purpose poncho and space blanket. Protection from rain and cold. Retain critical uh, head heat. Hands-free protection. Thermal mylar design. I got two of those um, and then more cliff bars and this is a VSSL um, it's a flashlight uh, a compass oiled uh, compass on the bottom flashlight even with uh, when I have the batteries uh, um, um, reversed so that way it doesn't turn on right now um, and then there's all these little uh, canisters So, <laughs> excuse me. So, first aid stuff and fire starter mirror, um, and then a uh, wire saw. Uh, several little, there's even a B wax candle at the bottom of it, and then the little inventory. Uh, uh, so these little survival canisters. Even little, uh, I've got them uh, here in a second. All the um, little accessories for a uh, shark mini um, 
Dirt Devil vacuum, and then little lower lint things, and a big uh, yellow red sign below here. It's a, you know, it's like emergency help kind of sign that came with the car. So, all right. So then you pull that up. Now you're, you know, uh, with the spare tire area, and right there is um, hand pumps with hoses for a uh, fuel siphoning system. So I got two different um, pumps with hoses because the first one just came with just the hand pump. Uh, didn't come with the hoses, so I bought another, so I have a backup. I got um, a couple of different things. I got some jerky and I've got uh, the um, peak refuel, uh, different flavored uh, dehydrated food things. And then recently I bought this. And what this is, instead of using the weird ass um, handle thing for the uh, the tire jack. Uh, this is like a socket wrench for the tire jack, so it makes it much easier and much smoother to use and operate. So there's all that. Uh, and then back here, you pull this out. And I've got a couple of different things here. Um, Here's the Shark Dirt Devil Vacuum. Works very, very well. One of the best uh, Dirt Devil Vacuums I've ever had. And then I've got uh, uh, bungee cores, all different sizes and uh, types. I've got this, which is, um, got it from 15 bucks uh, from um, Fred Myers, And it is a plug into the cigarette lighter console thing in the front. Uh, hanging out each of the different windows and it's a tire air compressor so uh, pretty much uh, refill up your own tires with your own air compressor and then this is like a heat guard rain poncho thing for your vehicle uh, and then got two of these these are like little things you put in your door um, hook to put uh, be able to have a step to uh, get up and um, hold yourself up to your lockbox container on the top so it help raises you up step stool this was about 150 bucks from um, uncharted supply company and it is a pre-charged battery pack it is a flashlight with even an sos signal pattern and it has a, a bunch of different cables even usb cord and all that but it is a jumper cable system as well when this thing is fully charged then i can jump start my car about 12 to 14 times with this thing being fully charged it's 150 bucks from uncharted supply company and um, they do have a, a larger version, I believe. I believe it's called the Athena, but I do not know how much it is. And it comes with this nice carrying case as well. It's almost like a hard um, Oakley sunglass case. So. Hard as far as probably try to keep everything really, really organized. <laughs> That is everything that we have in the trunk area. And then the final thing is my lockbox container. Uh, sports rack, like I've had it for a couple of years now. And uh, this is my survival uh, supplies that I have up here. Normally, uh, in the past, I've kept my 72-hour survival bug-out bag like right there uh, where you see that uh, cardboard box with a uh, Orlean Mo on it. So I have already worn in, uh, pre-worn in, all-terrain, all-weather Danner boots. I've got a towel. I've got a charade um, spear. 
I've got the extension uh, rod uh, on my bug out bag. Uh, it comes with a sheath. Uh, this right here is a box from Uncharted Supply Company, which is a pack raft. So, and then this is a uh, electric chainsaw. Uh, and it has that device that turns electrical cigarette outlet into a um, American plug-in little gas uh, gas can uh, a cooler full of both more smoke bombs lighter and about 30 different mountain house dehydrated food a thing of Fiji water two packs we go over to the other side In here, military cod, little pouch system that hangs off the side of the military cot uh, for so you have pockets and zippers and all that. And then a IBNS Katoma IBNS uh, um, pop up one person like Twinkie size one person with rainfly pop up tent that attaches to the uh, top of a military cot uh, with uh, buckle straps. So, and I believe that is it for now. Um, but most of the time I would carry this, um, my bug out bag. Here's the extension bar for that, uh, spear, uh, char charade spear. And then, uh, it, this would either be up in the lockbox container or it's in the back of the trunk of the vehicle when I'm going on road trips or, uh, you know, just wanting to be very prepared. This makes it where, um, pretty much, let me close all this. So this makes it where pretty much, um, um, here, let me put this down. I am very well off, very well prepared. Uh, natural disaster hits the area. Uh, maybe we're, um, we're ordered to stand by for evacuation, which we've had been having more and more forest fires, barn fires, whatever, things can happen and emergency services need us to prepare and you know um, evacuate at some point in time it has happened anywhere and everywhere even if it hasn't hit our area yet uh, one day it can because of global warming and we're having more frequent uh, more extreme natural disasters uh, they say for every one dollar you spend in preparedness planning products or both you will save yourself somewhere in the realm of four to $16 in damages and recovery fees. Uh, you compare those who prepare to those who don't prepare, those who do prepare will recover four to five times faster. Uh, and then the other major statistic from FEMA Red Cross, this all came out in a joint five-year survey from FEMA and Red Cross in August of 2015 uh, on Americans and preparedness. And so another major statistic was at that time, over 60% of Americans do not prepare for natural disasters in any way, shape, or form, even though over 80% of American counties get hit by one or more than one yearly natural disaster. Now, with global warming becoming a more extreme thing every year, I'm actually guessing those statistics and those numbers have increased. I'm betting that for every $1 you spend in preparedness because of inflation, you're probably saving not four to 16, you're probably doubling that. It's probably eight to 32 now. And uh, instead of, you know, over 60% of Americans don't prepare, uh, it, you know, it affects, you know, 80% of American counties. I'm betting it's like 95 to 100% of American counties that get hit by one or more than one yearly natural disaster. So I think emergency preparedness is a very critical, important thing nowadays. Anybody who is an adult, anybody who has a vehicle, anybody, and those who are especially parents, single or uh, a full family uh, of one kid or several kids, it doesn't matter. I think that everybody needs to start thinking more and more about preparedness, whether it's a lightweight 24-hour bag, normal 24-hour bag, about uh, this size is not as much stuff, um, and it needs to be personalized to you, your uh, environment, altitude, climate, your um your wants your capabilities how much can you carry what do you want the bag to do for you uh or even and then you know of course 
if you increase it to a 48, 72 hour bug out bag, then that gives you more capabilities, but also means more weight that you have to carry. Having a bug out bag is half the battle. Knowing what you have and how to use it is the other half. Field testing it once or twice a year, going hiking and camping with it, even if that means at a paid for camping spot, KOA camping spot, uh, a national park and paid for camping spot, um, but hiking with it, you, you know, soldiers don't just show up and then go to war and not know how to use their equipment. They go out and field test it with the people who know how to use it and train the uh, soldiers who don't know how to use it. We go out and field to field test and field train. So you have to know your gear. Having it is half the battle. Knowing uh, how to use it, what you have and how to use it is the other half. And then where's the best place to keep an emergency bug out bag? A bugging kit, like a book bag, Rubbermaid tub is good for home. Uh, for if, you know, you, like the pandemic happened, it's like everybody stay home. So I have an emergency supplies, emergency food, emergency water, first aid, uh, emergency bugging kit. But for a bug out bag, the best place to keep it is in your vehicle uh, somewhere, lockbox, container, trunk, uh, out of sight, out of mind. Why? Because your vehicle is never too far away from where you are. One second. So, you know, your vehicle is either at home, it's near you at work, it's near you at the mall, it's near you on a road trip, it's near you at a friend's house, uh, a, a, a close relative's house. Your vehicle is never too far away. So, you, if you don't have a whole lot of trunk space, uh, like me, I couldn't keep this bug out bag. Uh, in the back of the trunk before when I was a ride share driver because I needed that whole area for people's either groceries or luggage um, And now I'm not a driver anymore. I can actually put it in there. So that's why I got the lockbox container But this also affects my miles per gallon. So it's um, you know I want to get something stronger more sturdy. It only opens from the back That's a bit of a pain of butt trying to pull the bug out bag from the back out uh, with knowing that how the this thing weighs um, for me 65 pounds, so that's quite a bit to pull out. So now if I get a Thule lockbox container and it can open from the left side or the right side with a key and it's more tactical, more aerodynamic, uh, and it also looked better on my car as well. So uh, that is pretty much everything I have. That is my vehicle preparedness uh, with a little bit of rideshare advice of getting certain things uh, for those who are rideshare drivers, Uber, Lyft, and who want to um, give better tips and ratings um, and, um, uh, you know, show off your car and, uh, um, you know, be a great rideshare five-star driver as well. So that is everything I have. I hope this is good information. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, make any comments uh, on, you know, you know what, what did you like about this video? How can I make it better for next time? I'm sorry, a little bit of wind. Um, so, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and make any comments. Uh, you guys have a good day and have a good summer, right? Stay safe, and emergency preparedness will always benefit you. It will save you money. It will make it where you're less stressed, less concerned, less worried, less depressed, less scared and fearful for anything that comes your way. So please get your home more prepared. Get uh, bug out bags for uh, each family member who can carry a decent amount. Uh, and uh, get your vehicle more prepared inside and out. It will definitely benefit you, save you time, money, energy, stress, exhaustion, depression, and fear. Um, preparedness and organization and cleanliness will always save you uh, a ton uh, and help you out in so many ways, even unexpected ways that you can't even imagine. Preparedness is very important nowadays, so uh, take this seriously, okay? All right. You guys have a good day. Have a good summer. Stay safe. All right. Bye.